All right, so this is my monkey tail skink um, enclosure that I that I made out of a huge piece of furniture, this like china hutch thing, and it's like a really old one. So it's like really big. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like all the way from the ceiling. To the ground and it's bigger than other china hutches i've seen and that's why i thought this would work uh well for the young monkey tail skinks that i have and um they're eating right now there's a couple of them yeah so i actually drilled a hole in this thing a five inch hole um that goes down right there into the lower part so that they can use the space below. Oh, there's one of them in there. So you can see there's um, moss in there and one of the skinks is in there. I wonder who that is. I think that's Brita in there. But yeah, the moss, I usually try to keep damp for them so they can go in there. Let's close this up. And everything is waterproof too. So like when I got this, I just waterproofed the entire inside of here and inside of here um these are like foam backgrounds for the like exoterra tanks i guess and i just attached them to the back there was a mirror behind here that i attached it to and then these are huge cork tubes um they're like four foot by like i think like five or six inches yeah it's got to be a well probably more than six inches in diameter they're pretty big and they'll climb up and down the walls and inside of this log and in the log and um, they seem to enjoy it in here I also have um, a fogger that I use here's one of the tubes sticking out and that light bulb right there, it's actually a heat and UVB combination bulb. And I actually had to take out the old light fixture and replace it with one that could accommodate um, these reptile heat bulbs. Yeah, so they're munching away. Yeah, but this goes all the way across. And I believe this is like, I forget how many feet across this is. I think this is like six or seven feet and the height is almost like nine foot tall. And um, there's some of the other little guys. Yeah, none of these monkey tail skinks are full grown. This is just their like raise up enclosure. And then um, I'll probably put them in something bigger once they're adults. And they can start breeding and everything. Hey buddy. Yeah, and some of these actually came in really rough shape when I first got them. Hey buddy! Like this one here had like a super bad stuck shed. I mean it was so bad that the eyes wouldn't even open up. It's doing so good now. I'm gonna open up the inside of this one. It looks the same, but just to give you an idea. Yeah, and they'll climb 
like up and down this thing to get in and out and then they'll climb down here and up and they've got like another little like cord tube in here Yeah, and like, you see how they all want my attention, right? So I don't want to open this door because they'll all be climbing out all over me. And I won't be able to take this video. Yeah, they're pretty crazy with that. So cute. Hey, buddy. Yeah, so basically what I do to feed these guys, I'll just give them a huge plate of greens and fruits and vegetables and everything at least like once a day. It's like as soon as their plate is empty, then I'm filling it up. Hi guys. Hi. Hi there. Yeah, but oh my gosh, it's crazy. Every time I open this door, because I think they've accepted me as part of their circulus, which is like their family group that they live in, because they will all start climbing up uh, up my body and they'll start like making these little noises and just the same way that they do to each other they do the exact same thing to each other so there's less of them in this side so I was like okay they're busy eating it's safe to have this door open yeah, I already had Ozzy out. Ozzy is this one here. Here's the boy. And this is one of the females. This is Gizla. They're so cute. Yeah, but these guys, oh my gosh, I wasn't anticipating how uh, friendly they get. Because they get super, super friendly. Alright, well, if you have any questions about this video, um... Just let me know in the comments.